Former President Olusegun Obasanjo on Friday did not mind his words about the unity and indissolubility of Nigeria when he said, The country that sprawled over 923,768 kilometers square with over 200 million people will continue to exist no matter what happens. He spoke during the book launch and 85th birthday of Eminem's prelate Sunday Mbag of the Methodist Church in Nigeria, which was held at the Admiralty Center, Naval Dockyard, Victoria Island, Lagos State. Obasanjo, who was a convener of the program in honor of Mbag, described the former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria as a lover of Nigeria. The book, A Memoir, chronicling the journey of the Octogonera, was titled My Life and Times. Obasanjo, 84, said, The many enemies who don't want to see the country's continued coexistence would fail. He said, the cost of staying together as a nation is cheaper than the cost of dividing Nigeria. The former head of state made the statement at a time when secessionist agitations foiled any perceived injustice and worsening insecurity situation have increased across the country, especially in the southern Nigeria. The regime of the president general, Muhammad Buhari retired, has been battling with secessionist groups, including the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, led by detained Nam Dikano, as well as the Yoruba Nation secessionist group, spearheaded by Professor Banji Akintoye and embattled Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho. Amid the whole struggle to hold together the soul of Nigeria just 60 years after independence and many interruptions of military takeover. Obasan just said he would continue to work for the peace and progress of a united Nigeria. Speaking directly to the celebrant, the ex-president assured the respected Christian leader that the enemies of Nigeria won't win. Obasan just said, we are here to honor somebody we should honor and learn from him, Mbag, to show that we genuinely love and appreciate him for the service he has rendered to the Christian community in this country and the world over and to assure him that whatever happens, we'll continue to work for unity, peace, security, and progress of this country. I know that there are things that are dear to his heart. We want to assure you that Nigeria will continue to exist because the cost for Nigeria not to continue to exist is much more than the cost for us to make Nigeria to continue to exist. There are many people, high and low, who can be described as enemies of Nigeria, but they will not win over those who are friends of Nigeria. Also at the event include the Akwaibom State Governor and Chairman of the Association, Udom Emmanuel, as well as many dignitaries from all walks of life. This is not the first time Obasanjo is speaking against um, the division of um, Nigeria. He's always stated it. Uh, there was one time he was even clamoring and speaking for the minority regions. You know, he talked about that time. Um, Okay, if the country is to divide and northerners go their way, IPOB, that's the east, they go their way, and uh, uh, Odudua Nation, southwest, that what will happen to the minority group? That was where the angle he came from. And uh, the response he got after that um, statement was that he shouldn't, don't worry about the minority. Minority will choose wherever they want to fit into. That minority will take care of themselves. That is better for minority to choose um, which um, of these nations they can um, um, be with, rather to stay under this oppressive government under President Mohamed Buhari's administration. Truly, truly, President Mohamed Buhari's government is filled with oppression, injustice. Name it, everything you can think about. His government has brought hardship. Obas enjoy stating right now that uh, <laughs> um, neither IPOB nor Odudua nation uh uh, is going to happen. That is quite interesting. We'll see how that plays out because we can, with all that is going on, with all of the oppression that President Mohamed Buhari is using on these two major agitations, their struggle has even gained more momentum. They will not be intimidated. It was today, earlier on today, we did report that news here at Peak Media. You can check it out. Earlier on today, um, lawyers that visited Nam de Kanu, they talked about uh, when they brought the report from Nam de Kanu, Nam de Kanu, first of all, was appreciating them, appreciated um, 
his supporters and his loyalists and told them that they should continue praying that this thing will happen. He can see that prayers are working and eventually they are going to pull out of this. They believe very strongly, not with one iota of doubt, not even with uh, President Muhammad Buhari's intimidation and the force that he's been using. So uh, um, they, 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 they are strong believers of what um, they are into. So for Abbasanjo to be stating that uh, IPOB will not happen and uh, Odudua will not happen, I don't know what um, what effort is going to put towards that. The only thing, I think the only thing that will uh, make this not happen is if the government changes and we see that everything is working, there is no more marginalization, no more injustice. Because in the first place, what is calling for all of this? Sunday Igbo did not just wake up that, uh, you know what, we want to do to our nation. In the first place, since January, it wasn't even a do to our nation he was talking about. It was that Fulani headsmen should evacuate. They should leave the Igongo community. They should leave um, farmers alone. They should leave indigenous alone. It was just all about chasing them. We got report how he went into various uh, uh, um, various communities where these Fulani headsmen have are occupied, where they've taken forcefully taken the lands of um, residents and indigents. He went into different forests to chase them out with his boys. That was all he was um, after. But later, he now discovered that uh, these Fulani headsmen. The sort of confidence they have, even when military comes, it looks like the military they are on their side. The military starts flogging, whipping, and um, terrorizing indigents and protecting these Fulani headsmen. Fulani headsmen started making statements um, that show that um, they got serious backing from presidency, that no one can chase them out. That is only President Muhammad Buhari. That was when Sunday Gbo knew that uh, <laughs> this was be it or something from the top. And that was how this uh, struggle started again. That was when he declared, you know, in a, in a video he did that he stated, enough is enough. We must leave now. This is the time. For IPOB, we know IPOB has been on for some time. IPOB has been demanding their breakaway, that they want to leave. So these two agitations, they are not just agitating because they like to leave, but because things are not working. So if truly, truly, Obasanjo is a lover of Nigeria, wants Nigeria to remain one, he knows what to do. President Mohamed Buhari is the one foiling all of this insecurity. He's the one behind all of the injustice. He's the one behind all of the uh, marginalization and everything we're experiencing in the country. He should go meet President Mohamed Buhari and President Mohamed Buhari has got the abilities um, to put all these things right but um, for his personal interest and uh, um, his plans to Islamize the country. He would not want to do those things right. Well, guys, let's hear your own take. Obasanjo has stated that um, the enemies of Nigeria will not succeed. We believe that um, the enemies of Nigeria uh, <laughs> is the leadership of the country right now. They don't want the good of the country. They don't want peace. They don't want peace, truly, truly. Well, let's hear your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Now, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your first time, you're very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.